大家好，我是 Oliver Brown。So you might have heard of the saying, "Eat less, live more," and this or some version of that, because it's actually a very common old wisdom that a lot of cultures and societies actually have. I've done videos on fasting before, but let's look into the science exactly of what fasting does and whether it has any effects or benefits to anti-aging. Okay, so let's talk about aging. When we think about aging, or what we're all afraid of is getting older, is we might get a lot of white hairs, we get a lot of wrinkles, you might get a little bit fatter,、uh, your skin gets loose,、uh, you don't feel as energetic, you get a lot of injuries. Now, all of these are symptoms of aging, but in the scientific community, they actually define it more succinctly. And specifically, when it comes to fasting, they actually looked at four markers. And they are resting metabolic rate, and this is basically your metabolism. How much energy you're burning is basically how much chemistry your cells are doing in your body. The more chemistry it's doing, the higher the metabolic rate, the more it'll wear itself out and causes aging or the breaking down of the system. The second marker is inflammation. Third is oxidative stress. Now, inflammation and oxidative stress kind of work in a similar theory, which is the redox、uh, theory of aging, which basically means. When there's a lot of chemistry that happens in your body, there's a lot of byproducts、um, that actually harm the cells around your body, and that causes more wear and tear. Okay, and then lastly, they look at other health markers such as blood pressure, heart rate, your blood lipid profile, like your cholesterol levels, and just your overall fat mass. And so when they weigh these all together, then they can actually determine whether your aging is faster than your chronological age, me meaning your your birth date. Um, or whether it's below it, meaning you're actually quite young for your age. Now, if you're also interested in health markers、um, from your own personal、uh, annual physical checkup,、um, I will do a later video that explains all these different health markers that you can look out for, the simple ones and easy ones for you to understand, just to give you an idea of where you stand in these、uh, standards. Now, they did a lot of studies on on fasting and its aging、uh, properties and benefits.、Uh, first, they did a lot on animal studies, like rats. Uh, mice and, and monkeys, and they actually found a lot of positive correlation between fasting, intermittent fasting, or alternative day fasting, and all these health markers.、Um, however, when they started to do these studies on humans, it wasn't so clean because it's really difficult to actually do a long-term fasting experiment on people. And then measure whether they die or not based on these markers because it's 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 not really practical. And so they do still look at these markers, but it's usually limited to a two-year window. And so some of the markers actually have shown positive correlation of benefit,、uh, such as your fat mass. They did go down. Their blood pressure, their heart rate went down. Their blood lipid cholesterol levels went down.、Um, Anti-inflammation and oxidative stress. Some suggestion that it also have improved. But overall, these are all suggestions. It's not hard. Concrete evidence that will make you live longer. But overall, if you take all these studies and you analyze them, you can kind of draw a conclusion that it actually might actually make you live longer if you do fasting. So if you're interested in trying fasting, please refer back to my older videos where I start off by doing intermittent fasting or time restricted feeding, which is basically you don't eat for 12 hours or a 16, 18 hour window, and then you gradually build up for a longer duration of not eating. So that's it, guys. I hope you found that useful. As always, please leave any questions or comments below, and I'll see you next time.